Hello, I am going to explain how I set up my calendar and how I use Calendly um, to help support my calendar. So here you can see um, what I try to do with a typical week um, with my company, Smack Happy. Um, so Mondays, I try to do the weekly planning. We've got the team meeting. Uh, I try to do admin work in the afternoon. I mark off lunch just because I'm a very visual person and so it helps me to have this divider on the calendar. Um, I set up one-to-ones for Tuesday mornings and Thursday afternoons. And then I reserve Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons for intro meetings and that's with like a potential new client. And then kickoff meetings, um, which is when they've signed on and they're meeting the team for the first time. And then that's also on Thursday mornings. So then I leave Wednesday mornings for uh, just general meetings. Um, Fridays are team meetings in the morning and then in the afternoon is kind of catch up time or hopefully I can do some of my own things in that time, which I rarely get to. Um, so that's the general setup that I'm always going for with my week. So here's how Calendly helps support that. Uh, you can see here that I have a million different meeting types set up. So that first one I was talking about, the intro call, that's um, this one here with a potential client. You see Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, right? If you look at that meeting here in Calendly, um, you can give it a name, give it a special URL, um, and then here you can say when you want those meetings to happen, right? So you can see here Tuesday and Wednesday afternoons and Thursday mornings. Um, under advanced, you can you know tell how long, like in what increments you want to show that, how many you want in a day. I don't want more than two in one day. Um, it has to be at least four hours away. So if I send someone the link right now, they can't book it with me within an hour because that's just not enough prep time for me personally. And then I always put 15 minutes before and after an event because I want time for travel or collecting myself, making follow-up notes. Um, you can also add some extra questions. I usually ask what we're talking about because sometimes people book with me um, a month out or so and I'll forget what it was about and this will be um, in the calendar um, as a question. I also um, tell Calendly to automatically add the invite to their calendar. Um, this is really helpful because they are more likely to show up if you actually put it there for them. Um, it has some other cool features too that I don't really use here. Um, so that's basically the same for um, most of the events that I have set up. Uh, another key thing I'd like to note, um, so this calendar here, oops, that's not the calendar. Um, it's showing um, several different types of calendars. So you can see this green one here is um, my ongoing calendar. So I kind of treat that as like, a base layer, so to speak. I don't ever edit that. It just kind of sits there showing me where my time buckets are supposed to be. Um, and then these blue ones, you can see I'm supposed to do laundries on Thursday, on um, Sundays. So this is my personal calendar. So it's really important that if I have a meeting, this orange ones here are my um, business meetings. Um, if I have a meeting, Calendly isn't gonna book when I have a meeting. And this is true of personal items as well. So if I had a dentist appointment on Tuesday morning, I wouldn't want a one-to-one -to, -one to be scheduled there. So in Calendly, what you can do is make sure that you're connected to all the calendars that matter to you. And the way to do that is in the calendar settings. So here you can create as many calendars as you want from Google Calendar. 
and then you can share those with specific people. So this, this is my work calendar that we're looking at. And you can see that I've shared it with my personal calendar and vice versa. So anytime a personal item pops up in here, Calendly will see it because I've checked that box here. So every calendar I've created, you see the ongoing is not checked. If I checked that, then nothing would ever get booked because these are taking up that, that time slot. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, so this also means that anything personal you do, like if every Thursday morning you go to the gym, you wanna make sure that's on your personal calendar so Calendly doesn't book you during that time. I think that's it. <laughs>